It's your girl Taylor back with another video. Today's video I'm so excited about because it is a meal prep Monday or like a meal plan type of thing. This is what I'm going to be eating this week, but it's not a normal one. It's not like a fit thick. It is plant based. So if you guys are interested in seeing more plant based meal plans or recipes and things like that, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kind of videos. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So for starters, we're going to start off with breakfast. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of protein shakes, but since I have switched over to plant-based, I need to get a little bit more calories in and a lot more protein and nutrients and things like that. So I do add in a couple of things extra than I normally would when I was just having a protein shake when I was eating meat. So you guys are going to see everything I'm going to put in there. But if you guys are also following my fitness page, at Child's Fit, then you guys have already seen the recipe for this. It's going to be in my plant-based highlight. You guys go check that out and all the other things that I keep on my fitness page. Make sure you guys go follow that. But let's go ahead and get into how we're going to make this. So the protein I'm going to be using is the Vega Protein in green. So it's a plant-based protein. I absolutely love this one. It's the coconut and almond flavor and it tastes so good. And that's really hard to find a plant-based protein because I've literally gone through so many plant-based proteins. But this one's actually really, really yummy in my opinion. Um, as good as it's going to get for a plant-based, you know, because sometimes they can have a little bit of a chalky taste, but with this one, I definitely don't taste it. Switched over from almond milk to cashew milk or coconut milk, but today we're going to be using some silk cashew milk. I love this one. It's the unsweetened vanilla, and it tastes so good and creamy, and it tastes really good with my protein shakes. And then we're going to be adding in some chia and flax seeds so you can get that extra fiber in. More fiber equals a flatter tummy. PB2, just because it's like, you know, sweetness of the peanut butter without all the extra calories of the peanut butter. So it's 85% less fat and it's only 50 calories per two tablespoons. And if you know anything about peanut butter, it's about 200 calories per two tablespoons. So, you know, you're saving some calories while getting that flavor in. And some moringa powder. I got mine from Women's Best. So moringa powder is a super duper amazing powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put the benefits of it right here. You guys can read along that as I talk about this, but I got my moringa powder from Women's Best. If you guys ever wanna purchase with them, make sure you guys use my link because I do make a small commission off of it. So if you ever wanna support your girl, then you guys can do it that way. But I also don't care where you get your moringa from as long as you go get you some because the benefits are amazing. So that's just that. And then I add in some extra oats in there just because I just feel like it adds like a little bit of a thickness to the shake. It keeps me fuller for longer and I'm getting a little bit more calories in because calories, I just had to up them so I don't lose my gains because girl, I've been putting in that work in the gym as of lately so I do need the extra calories. So I'm just adding in some oats so I'm fuller longer. So this is one of my absolute favorite things to have for breakfast, especially because I love to work out in the morning. So I don't like to eat a really, really big breakfast because let's be honest here, when you're running on that treadmill and you have a huge breakfast in your belly, you're not feeling the best. And I've learned that one too many times. So I just go with a protein shake and then I load up on my food when I get home from the gym. But this shake right here will keep you full, satisfied, and it's high energy. You get a lot of protein from the protein shake. You get a lot of protein from the moringa powder. It's amazing for people who are vegetarian, vegan, or plant-based. So you get the extra nutrients that you would need. And it's like basically having like a meal in the morning. And this is just what I have. Okay, so now we're gonna go into lunch. For lunch, we're gonna have a salad, but not just any salad. The salad is gonna be flavorful. You're gonna feel really satisfied. It's gonna be high energy, high protein. It's everything you'd ever want in a salad, and it's completely plant-based, and it's gonna be so good. So what we're gonna be having is we're gonna make our own tzatziki, because I love tzatziki. It's a Mediterranean salad, by the way. So I love tzatziki, but tzatziki comes with dairy, right? So we got this organic dairy-free cashew yogurt. So it's actually called cashew gurt. That's cool. Um, it's unsweetened and it's plain and it tastes just like a sour cream would. So we're gonna go ahead and make our tzatziki sauce with some dill and we're gonna use some cucumber, some garlic, and some tomatoes. So that's how we're gonna make our you know, tzatziki sauce that's gonna go on top of this. We're also gonna have some avocado oil plant-based butter because we're gonna use this when we're cooking our falafel. Falafel is the traditional Mediterranean vegetarian recipe of ground peas, 
fava beans and spices so if you ever had falafel you guys know it's really really good this is going to be the place take the place of like our meat substitute it has kind of like a runny texture but it's so delicious and absolutely so good so already making this so also we're going to be having some baby arugula as our base of the salad instead of using other lettuce because this is often used in mediterranean dishes so we're gonna keep it traditional got this from whole foods um also from whole foods i got some plant-based cheddar so you can add some cheese on top and um yeah so this is plant-based dairy-free cheese um we're gonna have some mango it's optional to add mango to your salads i like fruit on my salads if you don't that's cool but i personally love fruit on my salads some avocado some nuts on there this is the omega-3 mix with walnuts dry sweetened cranberries almonds and pistachios this is my favorite mix of the orchard valley and they come in little packs so it's just easy to throw it on your salad and then some hummus to add on top so this is what we're going to be using for our salad. Let's go ahead and start making it. looks so delicious and this journey for me like starting from week one to now like I've definitely learned so much about going plant-based or vegan I don't want to say I'm vegan like that's not something I want to claim just because like if I want to go and have a donut and let's say there's like eggs in it or there's butter or there's milk in it then I don't want to just limit myself to not being able to have the things that I enjoy but what I will say is I am plant-based for the time being because everyone keeps asking me in my DMs like, are you plant-based? Like, are you vegan? Like, what's up with you? Do you eat meat anymore? And I am trying to not eat meat anymore. Um, I have had meat since I have gone plant-based, but I just like, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? This ain't for me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm just going to continue on with plant-based as strict as I can be and just stay on it as long as I can. Just, you know, it makes me feel better. It definitely does. And also when you're eating foods like this, you're not missing out on meat. Like this isn't a meal where you're going to look at it and be like, wow, I wish I had meat right now. You're looking at this like, wow, this looks delicious. I cannot wait to dig into it. It's going to make me feel really energized. It's going to make me feel really whole. It's going to make me feel good. I'm not having any lactose. I'm not having any dairy. I'm not having any meat. I'm saving little baby animals. This is not a missing out meal. This is I'm doing good things. I'm living good and I'm eating even better type of meal. So yes, let's go ahead and get into dinner. So I'm back. I had to go take a quick 
quick little intermission break because that salad was looking too good and I hadn't eaten anything since I drank that smoothie earlier. If you could tell, your girl is hyped up. I'm so full of energy right now. But anyway, we about to get into dinner. And let me tell you, sus, let me tell you. You guys, anybody out here who wants to try plant-based, try this meal first. Because I promise you, you're not even going to think it's a plant-based meal. It is so good. Okay, let me go ahead and show you guys some of It is good because I just ate that. I'm so full. No, like. So, super satisfied. So, we're going to be having some sausage. And you're probably like, girl, sausage is not plant-based or vegan. These ones are. This is Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage. Plant-based sausage, 16 grams of protein. It has no soy in it. And if you guys know me and you guys follow me on my Child's Fit page, shameless self-promotion, go ahead and follow that page because I do put a lot of hard work into my posts and posting things to help you guys out. So go check that out. But if you guys follow my Child's Fit page, you guys know I'm not a fan of soy at all. And people ask me about this all the time. They're like, why don't you eat soy? Why don't you like soy? Personally, for me, ever since I was little, like my mom used to buy soy milk and my brother was like highly allergic to it. So that's my twin. So I just kind of know like I'm going to stay away from that. So I just stayed away from it growing up. As I got older, like I started eating soy again, I just saw that it did not agree with my body at all or how I was feeling. And there's such thing, I believe somebody I was watching, they had like soy poisoning where it would make them like cry or would mess with their emotions from eating too much soy. Which y'all, she already emotional. So. I'm not even that emotional. I'm just dramatic. But anyways, so this is soy free, gluten free. If you got a gluten allergy, this is for you. If you got soy intolerance, this is for you. 38% less fat than pork sausage okay first of all that don't even matter but anyways these sausages is bomb like they taste just like meat girl and then we're gonna be having some green beans because you know you need to have a veggie with like almost every meal so we got the the green beans you know they good or whatever and then oh that was supposed to be cooler than i thought it would be so this is the bonzo rotini made with chickpeas this is not even no wheat pasta this is not you know no average pasta this is bonza pasta. This is um, made from chickpeas. And if we look on the back, they compare it. So as you can see, it says 25 grams of protein in the bonza and 13 grams of protein in average pasta. 13 grams of fiber in the bonza, three grams of fiber in the average pasta. So what's one thing that I talked to you guys about? If you guys watch my videos, you're gonna know this. This is a trivia time, okay? What are the two most important components to building curves while still trying to lose weight? I'll wait, answer it. If you answered high protein and high fiber, then you are correct. That is literally my secret. It's not even a secret. I tell you guys all the time. But that's literally my tips and tricks to gaining curves, getting the booty, getting the gains, but still trying to lose that tummy and lose weight and lose fat. Okay, so this is the pasta we're going to be eating today. I'm so excited. I've tried this already. It's super yummy. It doesn't even taste that much different from like regular pasta. So go ahead and make that switch. This is nice. Try it out. If you like it, cool. If you don't. I don't know why you would. So let's go ahead and get into this. some good old-fashioned garlic powder I don't care what brand you use but I go a little bit heavier with my seasoning so do it how you like to season your food I'm just showing you because a lot of people ask me like what did you season that with how did you make this so I'm just showing you guys literally how I made mine and I go in with some basil I got this from I got all these spices right here in the little tubs I got them from my local farmers market so I'm gonna put some basil on it a little sprinkle put some respect on it. now I'm gonna take some dry coriander which is some cilantro I some cilantro dried leaves on there. I'm gonna take a little bit of oregano, just some dried leaves. Go over top of that. A little bit of pepper, sprinkle that on top. A 
people saw this, they thought I really used a sauce. I didn't. It's just all spices and some plant-based butter. And then, not too much sea salt, but just enough to where you get a little bit of saltiness to it. The butter already adds a kind of like a saltiness, so you don't need too much. And then that's how you make it. Alright guys, so this is the finished product. The green beans, the pasta, and the sausage. It's not really sausage, but um, yes, this is what it's going to end up looking like. This is about the serving size that I would eat. And yes, this is super delicious, super satisfying, amazing. It just tastes so bomb. Like, if you guys want to try any of the other meals out, this one right here, gotta do that. But yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I just wanna say that you guys do not have to go plant-based, but if you guys are looking to like switch out a couple of meals throughout the week with some plant-based options, then maybe you guys would wanna try some of these out. Also, make sure you guys follow my social medias at just Taylor Things for my main page, at Child's Fit for my fitness Instagram. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more videos, like, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you like these kind of videos, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, most importantly, don't forget to stay positive prosperous and popping and don't forget to keep god first and yourself second and everything else will fall into place love you guys so much bye